it's clearly uh, <coughs> it's a, it's clearly a shocking development unfolding. You're going to want to uh, you're going to want to keep it locked in here. You stay with us all night. Are we transmitting? Are we transmitting? Point the camera at me. Point it at me. Just, just roll. Okay, things are out of control down below. The city of Los Angeles is like a war zone. These, these creatures, these zombies, or whatever the hell they are, are swarming the city. People are dying in the streets by the thousands. And the freeways, right now the freeways are hopelessly clogged. There is no way out of the city. We had to come up here into the Hollywood Hills just to find some refuge. I think we're safe for the moment, but I'm not going to stay long. Right now, the LAPD has pulled out of South Central Los Angeles entirely and is trying to form a defensive perimeter around Beverly Hills. But I don't know how they're going to stop these things. If you're hearing me, stay away from Los Angeles. The city is out of control. The city is lost. Avoid Los Angeles at all costs. I'm sorry, we, we had to cut away. We need to go now live to the White House press room for an emergency military briefing. The state of emergency has been declared in the United States of America, including all overseas dependencies and the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. We face, we, uh, for reasons yet to be determined, the bodies of the recently deceased are returning to life and attacking the living. The scope of this ec epidemic is now reaching global proportions. The President has sent to Congress a package of initiatives which will be explained by the Secretary of Defense, Mr. Martin Emery. Mr. Secretary. As of 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the President has declared the continental United States under martial law. A nationwide curfew of 7 p.m. tonight has been put into effect, and any citizen caught outdoors between 7 p.m and 7 a.m. is subject to arrest and detention without counsel. All reserve military personnel and National Guard are ordered to report for immediate deployment. All law enforcement, firefighting, and emergency personnel will be federalized effective immediately. All communications facilities, including the use of landline and cellular telephone facilities, will be reserved for military and rescue operations. In order to halt the spread of this contagion, our nation's borders to Canada and Mexico have been sealed. No longer seek shelter in private residences, no matter how safely protected or well stocked. Retain all ownership records of private property, but do not attempt to transport or defend said property. Rest assured, looters will be prosecuted with deadly force, as will any attempts at vigilanteism or secessionist political activity. No questions. Uh, that was the uh, Secretary of Defense with the, the announcement that the dead are somehow coming back to life. And uh, I, uh, I, uh, I've got, uh, do we have those uh, rescue stations yet? Well, find them, please. I need, I need, uh, I need those rescue stations. But fine. You know what? Fine. I'll get them. I'll get them. Current estimate in the U.S. puts the number of dead at over 10 million. But this is many would consider a wildly conservative estimate. Regarding the entire world, I, I can't even begin to give you a number. One bright spot to report, we, we now have a tape of what to do if you should find yourself assaulted by a reanimate. Can we roll that? Five, four, three, Kurt! He's up! One! He's up! Ladies and gentlemen, in the background, Brett will now demonstrate on an actual Romeo Lima Foxtrot both hard and soft points. Brett, go ahead. If you're going to shoot him, if you shoot him in the leg, it'll slow him down. It'll bring him to his Stay knees him, and get right back up. You shoot him in the chest. That'll slow him down, but he'll still come back. There's only Watch one him. place to 
deal with this monster. You shoot him in the head, right in the head, between the eyes. Watch That's him, how you get him. Watch him, Brett. Stay on him, guys. Stay on him. What we're going to be doing is working on a female zombie. A little bit different. If I anticipate this right, she's going to be coming out. Give me a female. Okay, watch very carefully. Hey! She's down, coming. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Watch, guys. Everybody clear? All right. Some of you males may find this somewhat disconcerting to have to uh, engage a female of the species. I did. It took a long time to get over it, but it's necessary. This is three, three, mind you, multiple suspects coming from opposing directions. This is not fun. This is scary. You'll all go through it. Stay with me. Watch very carefully. Okay. Kurt, are you on? Yep. Set, you on? Handler's Tom. Stand by, sir. Okay, stand by. Cut him loose. Okay, bring it up, guys. Stay on him. Stay on him. Watch, they're getting up. Three, two, one. Clear. Clear. Ladies and gentlemen, what you've just seen here is not pretty. I don't enjoy this. I don't think you will either, but it's a necessary, necessary evil, if you will. I don't know anything else to tell you about this. Lucas, are we on? We're on. Yeah, we're still on. It's been confirmed from several sources that the destruction of Shanghai and Hong Kong were the result of thermonuclear explosions. Whether set by the Chinese government, a rogue faction of the Chinese military, or the Russian government in their promise to aggressively defend their borders is still not and may never be known. Within the next hour, we will be transferring responsibilities to the emergency broadcast system. We believe, although this has not yet been confirmed, that the President and his Cabinet have already left Washington, D.C. for an undisclosed, secure location. We now have an audio, some would say, final audio message to the American people. My fellow Americans, this Republic faces a crisis like no other in its history. While the lights across this great land dim and the darkness of an uncertain future descends, let us not forget the words that led our country through another great challenge. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. We will endure. We will rebuild. We will drive away the night and warm our children in the dawn of a new day. God bless you all. And God bless the United States of America. Honey, I'm coming home. Get the kids ready now. I'll be there soon. <laughs> <laughs>